To be a conservative today in the United States, to be a Republican, means that you have no adherence or respect for or concern about being lied to. In fact, the conservative movement is just replete, filled to the brim. I've had it up to here. <laughs> Uh, with liars. When the man who leads the cult is a prolific, historic liar like Donald Trump, uh, then it, it kind of softens the blow of, of even your religious leaders being sickening liars. People like Hank Kuhneman and others, but we're talking about Hank Kuhneman today, who purport to be a, a man of God, a leader, he, he, he proclaims to be a prophet of God, a mouthpiece of Jesus the Christ, while spewing conspiracy and lies. You would think that people who claim to follow the philosophies of Jesus Christ, who believe him to be the son of God, who worship Jesus Christ, and want to emulate and put that into practice in their own lives, the teachings of, of, of Jesus, you would think that they would have more of a loyalty to Jesus than to Donald Trump and people like Hank Kuhneman who are just f***ing liars. I'm going to play a clip here of a recent sermon. I didn't even plan on working today. Here I am on a Saturday morning, get up, see this clip from Right Wing Watch, and I got to talk about it. Because I grew up in this faith tradition. I grew up an evangelical, not right of center Christian, but right wing radical Christian. That's how I grew up. It's how I was raised. I was raised being taught that the sky was, was yellow rather than blue, and I believed it for a long, long time as a child. So I, I was raised holding these types of men in, in high esteem, people like him, people like uh, Kenneth Copeland, that psycho. And still, I don't understand not having reverence for or respect for the tenets that Jesus actually taught, like not to lie. Here's Hank Kuhneman spreading a lie, continued, debunked time and time over and over a conspiracy theory about classrooms, schools providing their students who identify as cats litter boxes so they can go to the bathroom there and not in the actual bathroom where humans go. Watch this lie from a man of God, someone who claims to speak for God. Watch this. I mean, I have never seen the level of evil that we have today. It is absolutely like Isaiah, when it says in the book of Isaiah chapter 60, it's darkness and it's gross darkness. Come on, have you ever seen something so gross like putting a litter box in the school bathroom because you're a cat? No, you're not. You're mentally disturbed, demonically possessed or oppressed, and you need to get the devil cast out of you. And the goofball administrations need a deliverance session. Man, my prayer is if 45 comes back, we need to put deliverance rooms in every single school. March the teacher through. Come on. Come on, school board. March through here. Well, well, where am I going? Well, you're about to find out. Here's the bag. What's that bag? Because every one of your liberal demons and rhinoceros devils are going to come out. Because what you stand for is gross. I hate to be the one to break it to you, Mr. Performance Artist with a giant dinner plate size American flag. The bigger the flag pen is, the more patriotic you are, according to Hank Kuhneman, apparently. But I hate to break it to you. But uh, what you stand for is gross. You're a liar. This has been debunked time and time again, and you're continuing to tell it in the face of it being found to be a lie. The litter box thing. Also, and we're not really going to dive deep into the white Christian nationalism element of this, where he wants schools to march teachers, schools that are run by the government, he wants schools to march teachers through into X 
exorcism deliverance rooms where there'll be bags to catch the demons that come out like that's how it works. Apparently, in Hank Kuhneman's mind, the, the, the plot from Ghostbusters is a real thing, except you don't need some electronic device to catch the ghost. All you need is a bag. It's like snipe hunting or something. <laughs> Idiot. But this thing about the, uh, this lie that Hank Kuhneman, a purported man of God, is telling... Uh, is is it sparks or it's it, it 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 it's from school shootings? Another thing that he has no concern about that students, when they're in lockdown for hours upon hours upon hours during a a a, a school shooting, whether it be a drill or the actual thing, an actual event, they have to uh, take shelter in place. It's called, and if they're in a classroom for hours and there's no bathroom, what they've done is they have buckets that have like litter, kitty litter in them. So if they need to go to the bathroom, they don't just do it in the corner on the carpet. This is from NBC News from years ago. This is an article about this particular thing. And they're talking about a candidate who I think was running for governor in the state of Colorado. Remember, uh, not Sandy Hook, but what was the other? Columbine. In the wake of Columbine, this was a practice that started happening, especially in the communities around uh, where Columbine took place. This is from NBC News. Here's the headline. How an urban myth, otherwise known as a lie, about litter boxes in schools became a GOP talking point. At least 20 Republican politicians have claimed that schools are making accommodations for students who identify as cats. The school districts say these claims are untrue. In Colorado, GOP gubernatorial nominee Heidi Ganahl insisted in several recent interviews that students were dressing and identifying as cats, disrupting class, and the state schools were tolerating it. Some children, she alleged, she lied, uh, would only communicate in barks and hisses. Her campaign declined to answer questions about Ganahl's claims, but in one interview with a local Fox affiliate, she suggested, quote, there's a lot of this going on in Jefferson County. The Jefferson County School District disputed Ganahl's claims and said its dress code prohibits costumes at school. The district, where Columbine High School is located, has been stocking classrooms with small amounts of cat litter since 2017. But as part of Go Buckets, they contain emergency supplies in case students are locked in a classroom during a shooting. The buckets also contain candy for diabetic students, a map of the school, flashlights, wet wipes, and first aid items. Quote, this thing has gotten out of control with politicians just wanting to have a talking point, said John McDonald, former director of campus safety at Jefferson County Schools, who's now a school security consultant. So this is a lie being told by a man who claims to be an actual mouthpiece for God, the creator of everything seen and unseen. But all he is, is a disgusting liar. This is how you test the spirits. This is how you're able to discern whether a prophet is real or fake. If they lie, they're probably not of God. If they claim they're speaking for God and the thing that they predict or God predicts through them is going to happen, when that thing doesn't happen, you probably have a fraud on your hands. Conservatives, the problem lies in the fact that Republicans all across the board, they want so badly for the things that they believe to be true that it doesn't matter if it's proven to be untrue. It, it, it validates their weird, bizarre worldview. And so they run with it. And they continue to say it even though it's a lie. They continue to be loyal to, to religious leaders who are liars. They continue to be loyal to politicians who are liars. When is it going to stop? I don't know the answer. What do you think? Uh, you can comment below. We can have a conversation there. You can also call and leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always daily at dollamore.com. And uh, if you appreciate what I do, there's several ways you can support this work. One is make sure you're subscribed. 
Two, you can buy some merch if you like these uh, fight poverty, not the poor, or poverty is a public policy choice. We've got those shirts on the on the merch store as well. We've got Dollamore Daily stuff, all kinds of stuff. You can go to dollamore.info. That'll redirect you to the Teespring site. We'd love to see you there. You can also become a channel member. Click the join button below, become a channel member for $2 a month in a sustained way to donate and help uh, produce these videos or go to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Um, make sure you're subscribed, like, share, comment, all the stuff that the YouTubers tell you what to uh, tell you to do, tell you what to do. Um, you can follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there. And uh, I will see you next time. Litter box free. <laughs> Be genuine. Take care of one another.